Hey guys, today we're making a miniature doll jacket or coat, whatever you want to call it, and then we're also going to be making a pair of boots for fall. Hope you'll enjoy. The jacket does have a few steps, but it's not as bad as it looks. Promise. First we're going to be making the pattern, and for this I started out by measuring the width at the shoulders. I then measured down to where I wanted the waist. You want to measure down to where the armpit is, and then you also want to measure the width of the chest. A couple of you requested me to make a double chested coat. I think this is it, but I don't know fashion, so correct me if I'm wrong. I also added some additional space, which is just what's going to fold over the shoulder. Next you want to make a piece down the center like this. Then measure the length you want the skirt of the coat to have and then elongate the piece in the center. And then for the neck area you want it to be slanted like this. What I outlined with black is basically the piece you'll need for the front pattern. And then I used the same measurements to make the pattern for the back. For the back I did make the top piece a bit more narrow than on the front. And then for the skirt for the back, I just did the same as for the front, but added the additional width of half of the center piece. If you want, you can stop here and then just make a jacket or coat out of that. The lines you see me adding here are just going to add some extra detail. This is completely up to you, but I would recommend to just write on the different parts where they belong so you don't forget. Cut those out and trace them onto any fabric of your choice. The fabric I chose is this purpley plum colored jacket fabric, which is just some thin fabric I got online. You first want to trace and cut all the pieces for the front, making sure to leave room for a seam allowance. And you also want to make sure that one half is a mirror image of the other. I first took the piece with the sleeve hole thingy and then the triangle piece. You then want to line those up good side to good side and sew them together. The easiest way to check if they're lined up is to just stick a needle through the fabric and if it comes out on the same point on the other side, good job. Then once you have that, cut off any excess. You can then take the two pieces for the skirt and sew those together the same way. Cut off any excess and then sew those onto the first two pieces. Next you want to add the center flap thingy. Then fold and sew along the sides of the newly added piece. And then fold and sew along the bottom of the entire thing. Sew together the other half the same way and you have the pieces for the front. You can then trace and cut out the pieces for the back. For these first two pieces I chose to sew them by hand just because when you flip them good side to good side the two curves are not going to line up. To make the skirt for the back, you want to cut two of each piece and then sew those together as well. Sew that together and you have the back. Next you want to sew the two halves together at the shoulders. See, I told you it's not that bad, or at least it's worth it. Almost done, promise. Lastly, you want to make a pattern for the sleeve. Fold and sew along the edge of where the wrist is. And then sew it onto the jacket. 
fold the entire jacket in half and then sew along the sleeves and sides. Because the two flaps in the center are going to fold down when the doll is wearing it, I just glued another piece of fabric to the back of each side. And then the very last piece you want to make and add is just a simple collar that you want to stitch onto the back. So to close it you have a few different options. One is to just simply make and add a belt. Another option is to add some velcro to the inside where you won't see it on the center flaps. For now I chose to not really add anything because it held together pretty well. And then I just made some simple buttons from Pommel Clay and glued those on after baking. Obviously you can't go outside in the cold without shoes, so we're gonna make a simple pair of flat boots. First you wanna take the foot or leg of your doll and then add a piece of paper like this. Then sketch out whatever this part of the shoe is called, making sure that it's fairly loose. And yes, you can put this type of shoe onto a doll that doesn't have the posable foot. Take any fabric of your choice and then sketch and cut out two. Then cut a larger piece of fabric and then start gluing them together making sure that each side has the good side facing you. Basically because fabric doesn't really fold too well in miniature you want to create some wrinkles. As you can see I'm only adding glue to the center and then two dots on the sides. The reason why is because the fabric I'm using is stretchy and so if you add too much glue you're going to lose that stretch. You don't necessarily have to use stretchy fabric for this project but I would recommend it simply because it's going to be a lot easier to put the shoe onto the doll. Flip it and fold down the top edge. Then fold it in half and sew along the line. Then cut off any excess and flip it inside out. For the next part you could technically just wrap the doll foot in some cling film or something similar and then just use that. I chose to make a pair of silicone feet from mold putty. The reason why I'm doing this instead of just using the doll foot is because the outside of the shoe is usually a different shape and also a bit larger than your foot itself. So this is just a simple way to get the right shape. And I then just added a head pin to mimic the leg. Add the piece you already made and begin working on the pattern for the rest of the shoe. The inside shape of this pattern is really the only important thing. The rest just has to be big enough to fit around the entire foot. You then first want to cut this out from a piece of canvas or something similar and then glue this onto the base. I then added glue to the entire surface of this canvas and then used my fingers to hold it down to get the right shape. For this part the glue is going to act like a fabric stiffener and make sure that the shoe isn't going to be too floppy. Then add your main fabric on top the same way. And then once you have that, you can glue another piece of the canvas onto the bottom. To make this all, I just made a super simple version from pommel clay and then glued this on after baking. But if you want, you can also use cardboard or even fabric. Make and add some details if you want, then finish off with some acrylic paint for shading and you're done. I want to take a second to just thank you for helping me with the question of the day on my last video. I don't really have a question of the day for this one other than if you have any requests for doll clothes feel free to leave them in the comments. I do write down all of the suggestions so if you've left a request for let's say a 
leather jacket or something similar, you don't have to request it again. 